Pro2 Reviews puts a lot of focus on cordless tools for the construction industry. Since batteries drive those tools, talking about things like 21700 versus 18650 cells seems incredibly relevant to us, especially when it means bigger and better tools that do more and run longer. Battery tech reaches far beyond the latest cordless tools. These power sources are driving innovation in Teslas, hoverboards, and so much more. When talking about lithium ion batteries, you're gonna hear a few numbers being thrown around. 21700, 18650, 2700. These numbers refer to, among other things, the physical size of the lithium ion cell. For 18650, it's 18 millimeters in diameter and 65 millimeters in length. The 21700 cell is 21 millimeters in diameter and 70 millimeters in length. Of course, where the naming explanation is simple, well, the differences are profound. Something that's easy to see with a quick volume calculation. Now the extra five millimeters in length and three millimeters of diameter gives us 47% more volume. That's a little more than 7,700 cubic millimeters of extra space to pack with energy delivering anode, cathode, and electrolyte material. The most obvious benefit of going with 21700 cells over the 18650s is that more density means you're gonna have more available energy to help your tools and gear run longer. Batteries that we see using 18650 cells for power tools range from one amp hour to three amp hour in each cell. 18650 cells on the higher end of that scale have reported problems and two and a half amp hours per cell seems to be the maximum sweet spot for those. On the other hand, 21700 cells start around three amp hour and ramp up to four amp hour per cell for power tool batteries. It's why we see compact battery packs at three or four amp hours and larger 12 amp hour packs at the higher end of the scale. From the perspective of power tools, 21700 cells bring as much as 50 to 100% runtime gain over today's 18650 packs. Batteries like Bosch's Core 18 volt, Milwaukee's M18 high output, and Metabo's LIHD or lithium HD packs do more than take advantage of longer runtime though. They also improve cooling and they use better materials to reduce electrical resistance. The result is a battery with much greater power delivery. Take Bosch for example. Their standard 18 volt batteries can produce up to 800 watts of power. When they upgraded to core 18 volt, it went up to 1440 watts. That's an 80% power increase. Other brands report similar power gains. Manufacturers are now able to produce cordless tools we would have never imagined possible just a few years ago. Table saws, 12 inch miter saws, two inch SDS max rotary hammers, you get the idea. Oh, and watch out for more advanced outdoor power equipment for lawn care and landscaping. And whispers of formerly gas-only construction equipment are all starting to have cordless options thanks to 21700 cells. Help us out by subscribing to the channel below and tap that bell to get notified when we post new tool reviews and shootouts. And as always, thanks for watching.